In the last video, we did a quick overview of the WordPress admin dashboard. So in this video, I'll be showing you how WordPress actually works, how to build your pages using the new Gutenberg editor. Right, so for you to see the Gutenberg editor, you need to be in two modes. Either you have to be creating a page or you have to be creating a post. So I'm just gonna come over here to post and then click on add new. Right, so I can just add a test title here. So in order for you to start building your web pages, you have to think of your website as blocks. Think of it as Lego blocks. So basically you're attaching uh, these blocks one on top of the other or sideways one on either side as you're building your page. So it's very, very exciting. It's a very, very exciting way of building pages. And let me show you how this works. So in order for you to start adding content onto your page or your post, all you have to do is to look for a plus button. So over here, we have it on the top left. So it says add block. So if I click here now beforehand, you need to decide what sort of content you need to add to your page. So if it's a paragraph, you just click click here on paragraph like that. And now it gives you this area here where you can add your paragraph text. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy some dummy text here from Lorem 2 because I don't like typing. So I'm just going to come back over here and paste it. And to be honest, <laughs> this will save you time watching me type very, very slow on my screen. All right. So this will be the actual text that you need to add to your blog post. So let's say you want to add more things onto your page. All you have to do is to click again on this plus button, but sometimes you don't have to come over here to the top. If you mouse over this area, you notice that we also have this plus button above this paragraph. So if I click here on this plus button, again, we have all our blocks that we can use. So if you want to add a heading, you can just click here on heading and then just start typing my heading. So that's it. So let's say you want to move this heading above there. All you have to do is to mouse over this heading area and you'll notice that you have this up arrow and down arrow and you also have this hand that shows up when you put your mouse just in between here. Now, what this means is you can drag. So you can see here as I'm dragging this, I can drag this to different parts of my page. Okay, or you can just use this up arrow just like that and that moves it up. Now let's add another example. So let's say you want to add something else here. Now, if you click this plus button here, that block will be added on top of this actual paragraph. Okay. But if you come over here and click the plus button, so this time, let's say I want to add an image. So if I click here on image, notice that it gets added onto the bottom. So when it comes to images, it's very, very simple. There's two ways you're going to add your images onto your pages. Number one, you have to go to your media library and find them there. And I'm just going to click here on the media library to show you what is here. So in my media library, I have one image. So I'm going to close this. The second way is to actually upload your image from your computer. So these are the two ways I do it. The third way is to add an image URL. So if you go to a website and you see an image, you can actually add it here as a URL. And I'm going to show you in a minute how to do that. So if I come over here to upload, that means I can now navigate to my computer and uh, go to whatever folder it is that has the images that I need. So if I scroll here onto my downloads folder, I mean, I have quite a few images here. So let's say I'm going to go with this one here. I can just double click on it. Now that gets added onto my page right away, just like that. Now, when our image is added, there's a few more things that we can do to this. If you take a look here at the right, you can see here that this is set to full size. We can also set this to 50%. So this is how we can resize this. That's 75%. That's hundred percent. And then over here, we also have more options. So I can align center. So now my image is bang on in the center there. I can make it wide width, <laughs> right? So now it's filling in my, uh, my whole area there. And also I can have this full width, which means it's just covering the whole area. Now you have to be careful about this option here, because as you can see, I've really stretched my image here and it has now pixelated. Now the quality of the image is not that good. So this is how you can start adding content onto your page. Now there's a lot more that you can add to your pages and your posts. So again, if I come over here to the top, click this plus button, 
we see that we have paragraphs, images, which we've just done. We've also done a heading. We can also add YouTube videos. We can add videos, galleries. We can also create galleries in our pages. We can add lists, quotes, audio. So there's a lot that we can add. And over here, we even have uh, the uh, common blocks that are grouped well together. And then if I scroll down here, we also have formatting, which means you can add your code, pull codes, pre-formatted, verse, tables. You can add tables in there. You can add custom HTML, which is fantastic. We also have layout elements, which means we can add buttons, columns, uh, media and text. Now, let me just add one more item here for you. So I'm just going to click here on add block. And here's another thing. If you want to search for something specific and you know what it is that you want to look for. So in this case, let's search for button. You see here right away, as soon as I enter the first few letters, it shows my button here. So I can add it. And to work on this button here, it's quite exciting because all you have to do is to click in the text here and then start typing. So I'm just going to say my button, or I can just call this my first button. Now, this button here doesn't do much because it has not been linked to anything. Okay. So what I want to do now is to link to one of my, in fact, let's link to my website, Mac University. So I'm going to copy that. And first I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to copy it and then come back over here and paste my URL. Hit enter. And now my button has a URL, right? So over here on the right, we also have options to customize our button. So what we could do here is to change the colors. So we can change the button background color. We can make it white, but of course my background is white, so we won't be able to see anything, but we can change it to gray, black, and so on. So we can change all these colors and also the text color. So if I come over here, I can actually click, click on this color picker, choose different colors for my button like that. Okay. So there's a lot that we can do. And then over here on advanced, if you, uh, if you're well versed in CSS, this is where you can add your CSS code, but we're not going to touch that at the moment. Right. So now that I've added all this information, there's two things that we can do here. We can save. In fact, it's automatically saved, which is good. So you won't lose all your content, but this is saved as a draft. So that means that when people come to your website, they, they don't see this right away. So in order for them to see what is happening here on your page or your blog post, what you need to do is to publish it. So you need to click here on publish. And then you want to click again on publish. Right. So this is the URL uh, to our post. So I'm going to open this in a new tab and now we'll be able to see everything that we've created. So here's our main title and here's my button and here's the image that I created. And then on the bottom here, because this is the blog post, people can leave comments and they can just type in here and post the comment, which is fantastic. Now over here, remember I linked my button to my website. So let's see if that works. So if I click here on my first button, notice that it is actually going to my website. And there we go, MacUniversity.com. Okay. So that means this is working fine. So back over here, let's say um, you want to go back into your um, blog post and make some more changes. All you have to do is to just come in here and just start typing away. Okay. If you need to delete anything, again, that is very, 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 very straightforward. All you have to do is to come over here, click on the item that you need to edit or make changes to. And then you'll notice that we have these options that we have here on the top. Now, if you click the three buttons here, now we have the option to delete. Okay. So I can delete the block and let's say I want to delete this image as well. All I have to do is to click on it. And then we get those three little dots again, remove block. And now I'm cleaning up, you know, my working area. So this is how it works. Now there's also another important thing that we can do here. And that is to come over here to our featured image and you can also set your featured image. So when your blog posts are shown on your website, they are also accompanied by an image, but we're going to cover this in the next video because that is where we're going to be talking more about the blog posts. Okay. So now that we have all this, this is exactly how it works on the pages as well. So notice that we're working here on the post and I will also be talking about the differences between the post and a page in the upcoming videos, right? So now that we have this, I can click on update and then this takes on what I've just edited. Now, this is also very, very important. When you make changes to your website, you need to make sure you come over here and click update. Think of update as save 
when you're working on your computer. So clicking update just means that it just takes on whatever you've just updated here on the page. Now, let's say you want to go back and um, there's a few steps that you want to go back to and you're not happy about saving this. What you can actually do is to come over here to revisions. So if you click here on revisions, now you can cycle through and this will take you back to how things were and restore the steps that you want to bring back to, to your page. So let's say I'm right here. I'm going to compare the two versions by clicking these two. And I can see here that um, this is what was there. Now I can tell here that this was an image block. So all I have to do is to click on restore this autosave. And then if I go back over here and let's say you're not happy with that, you can drag this all the way to the beginning, click restore. And now we are back to the image that we had right in the beginning when we started editing this page. And if you want to keep this uh, layout, all you have to do is to come over here again and click on update. Now, everything that I've just shown you here on this post can also be done on pages. So if I come over here to pages and click on add new, and then I'm just going to call this my new page. You'll notice that when we start designing this page, same thing happens. I have to click this plus button here and start adding all my blocks. So as I'm adding all these blocks, I can add my heading over here. I can add my videos. I can add my paragraph text like I did before by just coming over here, copying all this text and pasting it here. Okay. So that just works the same. But these are pages. And if you want to delete any of these, all you have to do is to click on the actual item, click these three little dots, remove block. And uh, let's say you want to take a look at all your pages or all your posts. I'm just going to publish this for now. So if you want to see all your pages and all your posts, all you have to do is to come over here to all pages. And then this will show you all the pages on your website. And then if I come over here to posts, these are all the posts that I have on my website. So this is how the Gutenberg editor works. It works in a block based manner. So any block that you need to add, you have to call it first, add it onto the page and then add the content onto it. Deleting it, deleting it is very easy. You just have to click on the actual block, look for those three little dots, and then that allows you to delete all that content on that block. So this is a very, very exciting way of making edits to your page. And I know this might be overwhelming right now, but you don't need to worry because I'll be creating these pages professionally and show you how these look. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make your first blog.